Hello, my name's Lewis and I'm a podiatrist at East Coast Podiatry in Singapore and today we're talking about tarsal tunnel syndrome. Tarsal tunnel refers to the small area between the uh, medial malleolus and the Achilles tendon. So we can see on this prop here, uh, the medial malleolus is this bone or the ankle bone and your Achilles tendon is just at the back here. Now tarsal tunnel refers to this space between, uh, between the two bones, uh, between the bone and the, the tendon. Um, running through this space is really important. We've got the veins, we've got arteries, we've got nerves, and we've got tendons running through there. As you can see here, they run through this space, through this channel, and supply the foot. Now, with tarsal tunnel syndrome, what we see is a narrowing or a compression of this space, which then directly entraps the tibial nerve here. Um, so you can see with a flat foot or a hypermobile foot, what we see is the, the foot will compress, and reduce this space, which will directly irritate the nerve. So it's a mechanical problem. There is pressure compressing on the nerve like that. Um, because of that, we often see patients that will uh, mistake this condition for plantar fasciitis because they think pain in the heel, pain on the inside of the foot, worse with walking, ah, plantar fasciitis. However, it's often mistaken for, uh, for, for this condition. Patients with tarsal tunnel syndrome will often complain of symptoms such as tingling and numbness in the foot and ankle, uh, sometimes burning sensation right along the foot or even numbness in the toes. So these symptoms arise because we've got direct compression on the tibial nerve. So yes, you can manage your symptoms with massage and things like that, it will help short term and relieve the, the symptoms, but you need to address the root cause of it, which is the direct mechanical compression of the nerve. So most cases is directly related to flat foot and hypermobility. So if you have loose ligaments and your muscles are in your foot and not so strong, uh, we do get a bit of a flat foot going on and adult acquired flat foot can occur. So we want to address the root cause of it by stabilizing the foot and opening up that tarsal tunnel. Now it needs to be done, normally we'll do this with a custom insole inside the shoe. So something like this, a custom insole inside the shoe, and what it would do is try and raise up the arch and open up that tarsal tunnel. So by opening the tunnel, the nerves no longer compressed, your symptoms will resolve. Patients with tarsal tunnel syndrome, once we've actually identified the problem and we've designed the custom insole, got that inside a good pair of shoes, uh, symptoms will resolve fairly quickly we see because the, once the mechanical entrapment is gone, the symptoms will reduce. Moving forward, if you feel that you are suffering from uh, heel pain, numbness in the foot and ankle, burning sensation, tingling sensation uh, around the foot and ankle, consult with your podiatrist, get the right advice, the right assessment and uh, treat it while it's relatively easy to fix without becoming a nerve damage and a much more uh, serious condition. So. If you found this video useful or you've got any questions at all, let me know in the comments below and we can address that in our upcoming videos. For more information on related conditions, check out our other videos.